You're not gonna let me. Pores only ever go in, not once come out. Boss has got a voracious appetite. I hear him squealing like sows being slaughtered. Yeah, uh. uh, I could do with a little fleshy diversion myself. Mmm, yeah. We've passed this before. We definitely have. Because I remember seeing these people being like, what, horse on? Huh. Yeah. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgaard and Vic. I'm really sorry, but I don't even remember who those people are. <laughs> Do I want to say it's a misunderstanding, to which they'll probably be like, Bullshit, and attack me? Or... Do I want to threaten them? Take a gamble. Believe I did have the pleasure to meet those two gentlemen. What were the names again? Olgard and Vic? Give them my regards. <laughs> Not your lucky day. Well, that didn't work. I'm pretty sure the other way they would have just... Attacked me, though. So, whatever. No big loss. Take him from the back! We gotta finish this before the guards come over, alright? Oh my god. Key to Horasan Jr.'s estate. If we walk in right now with these bodies here, is everyone gonna be... Oh lord! Whoa! Okay, everyone's super pissed off. <laughs> you guys wanna come out? Oh, come on, guys. You wanna help me out? Maybe? No? Okay. If we're killing all of Horasan's men before meeting him, how is he gonna be willing to help us? Are we just gonna coerce him into doing so? Come on! Quit blocking. Shit your pants already, big boy! Yes, I'm so scared of you! Oh, beautiful. Wow, this is not just some crappy hideout. It's nice. It's like a resort. Hey man, all your friends are dead. Still not gonna come get me? Hello? And that'll be that. Or not. That's a lot of people. Yes, I am! Good of you to recognize it, huh? Should be a little careful here. Ooh, I'm running very low on... Ooh! His men almost did me in. But we're okay. Somehow we're okay. Wanna take a swallow potion just because we can? It's actually better to use swallow potions because they can regenerate, but not the water. Oh, we can go in there, but is there a front door to this place or which house do I want to go in? I guess we'll try this one. Oh horse on! Do you have books for me to read. I'll forgive you if you do. I'm not trying to hunt him down. No. I just want to find you so I can ask about Siri and all. That's all. Whoa, there's more. Ow! Ooh! Flowey curses. Everyone come in here. Oh! Wow. Freaking triple teamed me in one second. Quinn. Now we're ready. Oh, do we want to try using a bomb maybe? Would that be a thing? No, not that. <laughs> Dragon's Dream. A cloud of gas that explodes when ignited. That could be a thing. Now, how do I do this? Off, oh. Me. Leave oh! Me. Like that? 
We didn't get to see the explosion very well, but it seemed to have worked out properly. Cool. Oh. That was my first time using Dragon's Dream, I believe. Do we have other types of bombs? Probably. Enhanced Dimeridium Bomb releases clouded Dimeridium slivers that block magic and monsters' magic abilities. Oh. We normally don't really come across people that use magic, so I don't think that'll be as useful, but... Nice to keep in mind, I guess. Hmm. Oh yeah, earlier. We bought a whole bunch of formulas, but we didn't actually craft them yet, did we? Can I? No, I'm missing ingredients. Decoctions, we should craft those sometime too, but I can't craft any of these! None of them! Enhanced white reference decoction. That's good. Horson! Where are you, Horson? I'm here for you. If Radovid is pretty much ratting him out now, maybe he's not even gonna be here anymore, huh? Yeah, actually, the, the little yellow circle is... The area is not even in this house. What the heck? <laughs> it's Rosa of our Atra's mansion again. <laughs> no. Books. But it's one that we've read already. Oh. Don't think he's quite here, is he? What about this side? Oh! Fucking degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. Oh, it's the... Um, the whores. Radovid told me to say I was coming because of the prostitutes, but I didn't even get to use that line on the guards outside earlier. Oh my god. Oh, and she... like her hands are being impaled too, Jesus. Oh. Seems like he might be inside. This guy... Why does he do that to the prostitutes? Is it just because he's really violent, or does he really hate women, or like, what's his motivation here? There's even some random rope hanging here. Don't want to know what that's used for. Oh my god. The good news is, I don't think Siri would have been weak enough to be caught by him. What the sandwich fuck is this? Me. That's a lot of dead women. Help me for fuck's sake! No one's coming. We don't even know Ciri's fate, and Geralt is already angry at the treatment of all these women. He is a degenerate. What? What do you want? Uh, maybe we'll kill him later on, but we gotta get him talking first. Hello, Junior. I've come to talk. I'll do whatever you want. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking bird? <laughs> Ashen haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was. Uh, I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Wanna know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. 
wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then, then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. We don't even have to kill him personally if we don't want to. All we gotta do is tell him, tell Cleaver where he is. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. Magic phyla. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. We can't leave Doodoo in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. My god, is that the first time we've heard Dandelion talk? Uh, Dandelion... He might be smart, you know, he might be good with a brain and all, but... Physically, maybe I should go in myself. I'll go in alone, you know? You'll stay outside. I can't let you go alone. If anything happens to you, Daryl will rip my head off. Someone must secure our retreat. There's bound to be a struggle. Things could get intense. We'll need to flee fast. Disappear in the crowd. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Good lord, Dandelion is the opposite of inconspicuous right now. The roof. Are you preparing our retreat? I hope you are. <laughs> it feels very strange to see Siri actually climbing things, like going up the stairs and the ladders and on the roofs. Because we know that she can teleport up and down and whatever. Uh, do we want to go up one more floor? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. But which, which building? <laughs> the balcony. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. Here? And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You'll fucking bar me, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. I can't imagine we would have too much trouble trying to fight him. Kill you, cut! Energy. Each time Siri uses her special powers, her energy declines. Some energy is restored each time you attack a foe. You will regain access to Siri's special abilities once your energy has increased to the required level. 
I'm not sure how to. Oh. You little whore. Does that count as an ability? Where's Ruben's treasure? I don't know, man. Menga has it. I'm trying to look for it too. I got you, you little whore. I guess teleporting away counts as using the Where's energy. Ruben's treasure. Well, obviously we don't kill him here. Fucking kill you, cunt! An eye for an eye. Oh, we took Dudu's eye. <laughs> They're coming, Dudu. Listen. This is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore! We can escape through the the roof, the window. This is killing. Keep it together, legs. On with it. Grab the cut. I don't have any healing items, so we gotta be a little bit careful here. Bloody hell. Not good. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I don't think we really care about looting them at this point. Let's go. There's more. I gotta clear out the entire hideout by myself. Oh wait, this is his hideout back in Novigrad, right? So it seems like Cleaver's men weren't the people who were killing Horson's men. Might have been Siri. Depending on how long ago this flashback is. Oh come on you. Whoa, what's happening down there? Buddy, please. Can our our health come back a little bit? Yeah, the energy thing. Don't know what's like what kind of abilities do I have with the energy right now? Maybe just the teleportation for now, and then we'll get more later on. You're oh, I might be. I might be if I don't hang in here. Oh, I actually am. I'll be careful this time. I think the blinking works a little bit differently because right now I'm sort of using it like dodge, but what it really is is it lets us get behind people too, not just sidestepping them. Maybe that's what I gotta get used to here. See, it's actually beneficial for us to run directly into them. Hmm. That's what happened. Tell you true. Dudu, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. Maybe he turned into something. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. If we look at this event in isolation, okay, I might sort of be tempted to just let him go, but... Thinking back to the arena, how you try to kill me, and looking at this room right now, the room that we're in right now, the women's feet hanging above my head, the three dead women in the tub. Usually I try really hard to keep people alive, but I can't even think of one reason to keep you alive right now. Who's gonna get mad at me if I kill him? Radovid? No, I think from the moment he gave me his address, he expected horse on a dime. Let me tell you where things stand. 
I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. You've killed many other people's daughters. Everybody here is somebody's daughter. Oh, there was even one more on the bed. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with this guy? But what's the... <sighs> could we like rescue... Not rescue, but could we bring her down? She's glowing red. The play is a thing. So what was the thing that they were trying to fix? Balton Dubis's notes. Advice to my fellow tradesmen. Never take on a phylactery repair job. Unless, that is, you don't mind sleepless nights. Don't be fooled by the infernal contraption's uncomplicated appearance. I have been struggling with this blasted phylactery for two weeks now. I have used every tool I own, every trick I have ever learned, and I am no pink-cheeked novice, having practiced this trade for a good 30 years. I will next try applying a concentration of chestnut, but I have little hope it will do anything. Phylactery. Magical phylactery. What would that be? Yeah, there's way too many dead women here. And these are only the women that we can see. The women that are here today. We don't know how long he's been doing this for. So many people have died. It looks like we're going back to Priscilla again, though. Yeah, alright. Guess we're going. And it's nighttime! Better get out of here before someone catches me, huh? Whoa! Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenfurt Tretagor. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. I don't want to board. Follow me. You make it sound like I want to board. Ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse? You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. Would you die for Radovid? Would you marry Radovid? <laughs> is that how much you love him? It's almost like you have glowing cat eyes. There you are. Need something from me, your majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. I'm very glad he said find Philippa Eilhart and not kill her, but why do you want her alive? Because you want to torture her some more? Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends. Reconvene the Lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Yeah, when we look at what uh, Radovid is doing in Novigrad with the pyres and all the witches, it's kind of tempting to think, oh my god, this guy's just some racist, uh, racist asshole trying to kill all the mages and whatever. But it's true that Philippa probably did torture him in his youth. Um... I can't straight out accept this this mission, can I? Well, if there is a magical barrier, it is true that mages would be more likely to succeed. 
Philip is using magic. He'd be better off sending mages after her. I agree to the Conclave's revival. But what has this brought me? The mages at my side are mediocrities. Cowards. They couldn't hold a candle to the likes of Isleheart, Loantiel, or Merigold. There's always your witch hunters. You are the best witch hunter. You've proven it clearly. Sheila de Tanzerville and Philippa Isleheart's plan. You were the one to foil it. I want you to finish what you started. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Isleheart. You can't say no to a king. Especially not one you owe a favor to. Oh, we really shouldn't have taken people's favors without knowing what we were trading it for. Wow. HMS Oxenford, huh? Where is this? Where is this normally? Oh, the Oxenford Harbor. I never came around here because there was a really high level quest. That's right. Did you have more you wanted to supplement me with? Oh, I'm not allowed to go in there, am I? Redania's most wanted. Okay. Level 12. An eye for an eye. Meet Roach in his camp. Mm, so we can either go help out Vess, or find Philippa. Or meet Triss in her hideout. Which is uh, something we're delaying for the moment. Uh, well, finding Philippa seems more important, so let's put that off. <laughs> Put off the more important things. Let's go find Vess then. Because I think we're still within riding distance of that area. Finding Villapa. Uh, where do we gotta go to find Philippa? So Vess is here. Oh! The magical barrier that we came across last time. That's what that was. Philippa, we were so close to you. Oh. Okay. Alright, well, let's start heading to Vess then. If we keep walking this way, though, are we gonna run into the person with the the contract? How do we get Stay off the boat? Out of my way. Your arms. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Doesn't hurt to have good steel, I would think. Ah, so we normally can't just walk up there, even if we want to. Duh, cause he's the king, he's not just gonna let you do whatever. The quickest way back to the hideout... Probably via the northern entrances. Well, Novigrad Gate. Yeah, Novigrad Gate, or we could just trek across the water. Are there any nearby locations that we haven't been to yet? Like, do we wanna... Hmm... Blood gold. You know, this is supposedly kind of near our level now. Did we do this already? Because I sort of remember coming in here, but then there were some really, really hard things that we couldn't do. Level 32, seriously, and uh... Huh. I don't know. We've seen this already. There's not really too much that we can go to without going out of the way. I guess we can try this. Blood gold? Yeah, was level 18 okay? How is our... Our equipment looking anyway because as far as I know we've been using the Griffin armor for quite a while now it would be nice if we can get an upgrade I think the level 17 set is the cat set right no oh, there's got to be a better way to sort this seriously <laughs> uh. but yeah I don't see the oh it's called feline wait 29 Maybe that's not what I'm looking for here. Enhanced feline armor? It's the enhanced version, but what's the, the normal version? Maybe because I didn't pick it up yet. Yeah, maybe that's the, the thing. Okay, well, we'll just swim across the river or something and get back to Vess. Vess, who we saw very briefly for one moment, but she... I guess she stormed off away. Out of the camp. Roach says something is troubling her. We had a good time with Vess previously. I'd like to think that we're pretty good friends. She was a pretty competent fighter, and we had that, that tournament and everything, and it was all going well. So I'd really like to help her out with whatever trouble she's having. Philippa Isleheart, on the other hand. It's 
probably easy to forget here, but the, the save that we imported was... Oh my god, what is that? There's a Night Wraith here. He's randomly in the middle of the field. I guess we're killing it now. <laughs> uh, would it be... Would it be Spectre Oil? Hopefully. Hey. Oh, oh. Can we use some bombs? Ooh! Block magic and monsters' magic abilities. Wouldn't that be good for a Night Wraith? So they can't do their teleporting thing or whatever. that work? I don't know. Oh, do you have to be in this area? I guess it didn't work so well for this thing, huh? Because we need we need the trap to kill it. Otherwise, it's sort of in this incorporeal form. The bomb? Uh... I don't know if it worked. If I go inside it, Oh, I thought it just disappeared. Died. Ow! Ooh! Ooh! Scary, scary. <laughs> it's following me in circles. We gotta have a Erden trap up, or we're not gonna be able to get it. And you've gotta be inside the circle, too! See, if we got the Dimeridium bomb working properly here, then it would have been really nice, right? Maybe we're able to block abilities like that? By the time I finish fighting you, it's not even gonna be nighttime anymore. Whew. Well, that wasn't a contract, but it can't be a bad thing that we killed some random night wraith, right? Ridding people of the evils? As I was saying earlier, Philippa Eilhart. It's easy to forget, but, um, in this timeline, because it's the- I imported the save from The Witcher 2, where I was hanging out with Roche mostly. I don't think we've officially met her here before. So when we see her, it's definitely not gonna be like, Oh, hey! Philippa, long time no see, how are you doing? It's more like, Oh, I've heard a lot about you, Witcher. But this is the first time we've met face to face. Oh! Somehow we've ended up in the above section. We gotta go back it's down. It's true you kill kings. You and our commander. Asher Commander. Don't ask me. Still a little bit high here. For whatever reason, I'm not taking Roach today. <laughs> uh, not quite the right place. The opening is here. An eye for an eye. Do we know what kind of trouble Vess is having? He didn't want to say right then what had blackened his mood. Roach. Best beware of the other side of the river. One false move, and you could be. You've been here, you've been there. Is it really the fashion among noble grand A witcher. Just what our band of merry men need. He's all the way in the back. You trouble me, Greylocks. And you, me. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm-hmm. It's Vess. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulbradale. So? Sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes. When they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Oh, I think that's the same issue they were arguing about the last time we saw Vess. She mentioned she and Roach were talking and she was like, we gotta go, and, and Roach was like, no. Something like that. Why Mulberry Dale? Why'd Vesco go there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. 
Word got out they're planning a punitive expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Hmm. Honestly, Vess's desire to save the villagers makes sense. What doesn't is your opposition to the plan. War means death. Not only for the soldiers, for the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Are right to. But I have one ideal. A free Temeria. And I'm prepared to sacrifice anything for it. Including not saving villagers because that wastes resources. Don't trust Vess anymore? Bollocks. She's prepared to die for me. Ah, no, that's not the problem. Know what distinguishes a soldier from a common swashbuckler? The uniform. It's a serious question. A rhetorical one. So instead of waiting for an answer, just enlighten me. Soldiers think tactically. They know when to strike, when to fall back, when to charge and when to hold. Vess finds this difficult. She's impulsive, hot-headed. Yet in guerrilla warfare, one false step and you're fucked. I confined her to the camp because I feared that sent out, she'd go rabid and make a mistake. I was right. Not only that, right? Because you guys have sort of a military situation set up here. So Vess is basically going against the chain of command and all that, which I feel like isn't that a huge taboo thing in military. If your boss tells you to do something, you can't not do it. All right, so you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her, before she attacks, and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. You still want to stop them from saving the villagers. Okay. Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me and Velen beneath the Hanged Man's Tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberrydale. I remember the name, but I don't quite remember where Mulberrydale is. Oh, I feel like it's sort of worrying that not only Vess, Vess isn't the only person who's doing this you right now. Me, she has a small group of people who are also agreeing with what she wants to do. Just what our band of merry men. Roach's horse isn't here today. We can't ride with him. Hanged Man's Tree. It's been a while since we've been in that area. That would be a good opportunity to cross the lands and all that, right? I'm pretty sure. Was it this place? I think we briefly came across it, but we never entered it. <sighs> I think it was this place. Yeah, because I think I came into the Stonecutter settlement, and then I stole something, and everyone went crazy, and then I went here to hide, but I don't think I actually looked in this place. And it's right next to the hangman's tree, so wonderful. Wonderful, why don't we ride over there? And along the way, we can do this. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Okay, we're not going here though, because level 32 is still something we can't do, but level 18, that should be doable. Alright, it's gonna be a long riding trip today, Roach. Let's go. Where are you? Let's go! Apparently every single horse I have is named Roach, but it's been the same one so far, right? Because I haven't seen Roach die or anything. Doesn't seem like we can get new horses. Hmm. Well, it's not something that really bothers me. I like Roach. And hopefully Roach likes me. <laughs> I don't know though. I feel like I kind of abuse her sometimes. <laughs> like by making her ram into the water head first. Okay, no, we can't, uh... Probably gotta swim here. Okay, Roach, you just go on standby. If I go straight across here, is it gonna be that level 32 thing, or... Uh, let me get a little bit closer first. Oh, it's actually pretty connected here. Oh god! Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yes! Sorry, no, I didn't mean to disturb you. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh lord. Scary sound. It's blood gold. Follow the blood trail using your witcher senses to find the hidden treasure. What is this one about again? Is it a contract or just something we know about? 
We found a body whose hand mentioned a treasure. I could go for help. There is a village not far. I can hear dogs barking. But people would see what uniform I wear. They'd ask what I was doing in the swamps. Who's I? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we've done this quest already before, if I remember right. Yeah, remember the first time we went into this area and I got stuck in that puddle? I had to reload to an earlier save because of that. And I think when I did that, I probably forgot to go get the treasure again because I completely remember this. This was the note that we found off the Verdanian soldier, right? And look at this, look at this. Just as I was talking about getting stuck in the puddle, I do the same thing again. Yeah, yeah, I remember this location. We got the note off this guy, I think. And the treasure is right here. There you go. Right, so this was something that we had already done, but I forgot to come back to do again. In that case... Well, that was a really quick trek, and I'm glad we didn't go out of our way to do this. Because now we can just head straight to... Hmm... Are there places that we haven't been to yet? Like these houses, maybe? I don't know. Okay, well, we'll start heading there. Lots of drowners here, though, so I think we should enlist the help of Roach. Let's go. Oh, since we're here anyway, are there any... Oh, I thought there was an armorer's table, but no, no. Oh, forget these guys. There's a lot of them, and I know you're scared, Roach, but it's okay. Monster nest. All right. Well, in that case, I guess we should do that. Ooh. Remember, rock fiends explode. Roach! Roach! Just leave. Oh! I thought Roach killed the rock fiend just now. Oh my god. But then I remembered the rock fiends explode. That's probably what happened. Hey, girl. Calm down. Calm down. It's kind of silly that even though she's scared, all she does is walk in circles. Rotfiend nest needs to be destroyed. You should try to get away. Get away from what's making you scared. <laughs> is it dead? Nope. Not quite. Devourer. Like <gasps> what's a devourer? Have we ever seen that before? The last blast killed me. Dang it! Holy god! Look at my health! Oh my god, I almost died again. Have we seen a devourer before though? Because I don't remember... I definitely don't remember seeing that. And am I walking into the poison? <laughs> I think I was. Oh, so maybe a devourer, when it dies, it leaves off some poisonous stuff to kill you with? There we go. Not too much else here. It's been a while since we've seen a monster's nest. Can we look into what a devourer is? Did we get an entry for killing it? Oh, the Apiarian Phantom. Something's destroyed our fields and hives. We think it's the Apiarian Phantom. The Apiarian Phantom destroying the Myersdor family hives turned out to be a lost hound of the wild hunt. When fighting such a beast, one must bear in mind three things. First of all, that the thick armor of ice covering it can only be pierced by strong blows. Second, that like any other frostborn creature, it is vulnerable to fire, the Igni sign included. Third and last, that it shall show no mercy. Though the hound fought fiercely, it nevertheless fell to the Witcher's blade. By killing this dangerous monster, Geralt saved the humans, halflings, and last but not least, the bees of the area from further torment. Isn't that nice? Uh, there's a... There's an asterisk here, but I don't see... I don't see what's... Like, what has the asterisk? Oh. Oh, that is exactly the perplexing question faced by Geralt of Rivia. In the end, he believed Salma and decided to let her go free, though he could not shake off the feeling that he might live to regret that decision. Hmm. 
Oh, it's this one. Couldn't see it through her hair here. Sirens. Whoa, why do they look so cool? Out at sea, if you hear a beautiful woman singing, turn the ship around at once, you understand? Even if it means sailing straight back into a storm. Advice given to his son before his first solo voyage. Like skilled hunters setting up wooden ducks to lure in drakes, sirens and lamias lure men near, using their own bodies as decoys. Lamias, is that a similar thing? They can transform to resemble beautiful human maidens, though with tails covered in silver scales instead of legs. Once a naive sailor gets within arm's reach of these beautiful creatures, their fair faces suddenly turn into fang-filled fish-like maws, and lovely tails promising unknown delights become sharp, death-dealing talons. One legend claims sirens and lamias were once friendly towards men, and supposedly were even known, albeit on rare occasions, to accept some sailors as clumsy attempts at courtship. In our day, however, they are decidedly aggressive, perhaps soured by the numerous kidnappings of carried out by frustrated sea salts. Whatever the truth, one thing is certain. These days, the monsters display no sign of goodwill, and so when spotting them, one should immediately reach for one silver sword. Maybe something we'll run into in Skellige, with the, the waters and all. Sirens and Lamias, the sirens' more dangerous cousins, usually hunt in flocks, making use of their numbers as well as their ability to move effortlessly through water and air. Water is not a good place for a witcher. We can't really fight very well. On the ground, however, they are virtually defenseless, and so a wise tactic is to damage their fin-like wings to force them to land. The Igni sign also proves effective when fighting against them, Threatened or injured sirens will let out a terrifying shriek, leaving their opponents stunned while they escape, and their sisters swoop down for an easy attack. Oh, so they can fly too. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I came here for... Devourers? Yeah, we got quite a few, but I'll, I'll read them in due time. Imp and Doppler have the same picture. <laughs> I don't see Devourer though. Devourer should be near Rot Fiends? Yeah, so a necrophage, but it's not here. Maybe it's like a stronger... Oh, devourers are a particularly dangerous kind of rot fiend, marked by an insatiable appetite for human flesh. Okay, good to know. <laughs> good to know. Thank you. Well, I'm finally okay now. Let's go, Roach. We can move on. What a dangerous place this was. A trap. Out of curiosity, anything else nearby that we can get? Nothing nearby here. At all. Ah, but there is a place right where we're going, so that's that's completely perfect. Do we wanna do we wanna go along the main road or should we cut across? Well at the very minimum, I think it would be nice to hit this spot. Oh! I think this spot might be the place where we rescued an elf from some humans who trapped the elf inside and burnt the house or something. We'll have to see. Okay, bunch of dead people here. Big surprise. Oh, they got a map here and everything, but we don't really... Are they Redanians? Their armor looks a little bit indistinct, but they have... They seem kind of red-themed. Oh. Not sure what went on here, but nothing good, probably. Nothing good. Let's go, Roach. Oh god, more annoying things in the distance. Ghouls! No, Roach! It's okay! It's gonna be okay! Oh, Roach. <laughs> Don't get stuck on the wood and all. We'll be fine. Can you jump this? Good. <laughs> it's like babying a little horse. Yeah, I think... I think we have been here before. Oh, there's so many things here because it's so swampy. You know what? It might Run, be easier. Roach. Might be easier to walk because Roach is having some problems navigating this... this very rough terrain. So am I. So am I. Up here... There is the two houses I'm talking about. Was it that house? It's locked. 
on the map, it seems like there's two houses here, but this one's already been burnt to a crisp. Mm -hmm. If it is the same house I'm thinking of, the lady said I left some stuff in the back. Please take it as a token of my gratitude. Uh, didn't quite see it just now, so maybe this is a different house. That's fine. We'll just head straight to this area then. Without Roach. Oh. No. Get out of here. No, there's too many. <gasps> this might be a bad idea. Oh no, there's a lot. Okay, we gotta... We gotta calm down. Even if they're quite low level for us now, we need to make sure that we don't get mobbed by them. It's a very common thing with these pack creatures. Seems like they got scared off, so that's good. Did I take a potion? Oh, maybe it's Quen? Just wondering what that- Oh god! Okay, goodbye, goodbye. Are they just circling me or... Oh, they're fighting each other. Great. We're almost at that location though, so I think we'll be okay. Devil's Pit. Yes. Yes. We came here to hide from the Redanian soldiers chasing us down for stealing... What did I steal? Something worth one crown? <laughs> Where is the entrance? It's very spiky. I'm trying to ward people off. Oh yeah, they're definitely trying to ward people off. By authority of the Imperial Decree, issued by the Nilfgaardian Court Martial, these individuals have been found guilty of treason and spying on behalf of Redania. Oh, Redanian spies. So the Nilfgaardians put this up. Are there people here, or...? Oh, looks a little bit like the quarry. Oh. Oh! Well. That's locked. We got a nice fortress going on here. Don't see anyone though. Hello? Let's dance. Deserters. Okay. Want to try using some bombs? Yes. Dragon's Dream. Okay, sure. <laughs> That's pretty badass. Might be good for a mob of people. Witch fucker! He's not wrong. That's that's sort of what I am. Fucking bastard! The dragon's dream plus igni combination is nice. It looks cool, but I'm not sure how effective it is. Because would it be easier for me to just use igni by itself? Yeah, they got a whole thing going on here. Anybody want to play Gwen? Do you have treasures here? There's people downstairs... Take all your alcohol, because I can... Ah! Uh. Uh. <laughs> How do I go down? Maybe I'll just drop down here? Giving me no choice. They never even stopped to ask me, Hey, Witcher, this is private property. Can you leave? No, they just all immediately attack me. So it's just like as Geralt says, giving me no choice. And that's it. That seems to be it, but uh, for such a big camp, I have some expectations for the kind of treasures we would find here. Whoa, that is not a treasure. No. Do bombs come back the same way? Like, uh, like potions? Because we have zero Dragon's Dream right now. 
Oh. That almost looks... Wait. This is definitely a thing. You can see it on the map. But maybe we don't open it from this side. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. Mm, I don't know what they were doing here. Burning people? Maybe we've come to this place a little bit too early, huh? Hello? What are you doing here, buddy? Okay. Goodbye. Let's try to make it a mission to try out some of um, the bombs in the next little bit then, because it is usable, although it's still easier to not use it. But, oh, we can't make anything. No, but did we already make some that we haven't used yet? Yeah, Enhanced Devil's Puff Ball. Cloud of poison when detonated. But will it poison me? Fiery explosion. Ooh, this seems pretty good. The Meridian Bomb, we can take it away and replace it with... Grape Shot? Nah, Grape Shot is too... Grape Shot is too normal, I think. Shrapnel damage, fire damage. And we need it for the, the monster nests too, so maybe we'll try Enhanced Dancing Star plus Enhanced Devil's Puff Ball, even if it means that we'll get poisoned too. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Now we get out of here. Little goat, you should get out of here too. No one's gonna feed you anymore. Even though it's 8 in the morning, it's quite gloomy today. Maybe it's because we're deep into a pit. That's why. Oh! Oh, whoa! <laughs> you see my health? Oh my god. Actually starting to run out of waters a little bit, huh? I remember looking at this previously and we had maybe 40. Now we have 20. If we're done with this... The inhabitants of Velen believe the expanse of caverns underneath the Devil's Pit are home to demons. Oh, it might be, but we haven't been able to confirm. Hangman's Tree! Oh, Mulberdale was the first town that we came across as we came into Velen. Yeah, that's right, that's why it sounded so familiar. It's a little far, maybe we should get Roach. Yep. Faster. 